Hey everybody, Will here. Another video in the series on Clout, which is a system that we are building to analyze YouTube data. We are in the part of the system now that is pulling data from the YouTube API. What we arrived at last time was a way to create a pandas data frame um, that would contain variables that are all of these variables. Now, some of them have changed a little bit. Um, I added channel information. I added a unique ID and the video ID. Let me just step back a little bit. What we're doing here is collecting all of these video level statistics. Uh, but at the video level, we, we want to know at that point in time how the channel was doing too. But since we're going to be collecting data recurringly, collecting these videos again and again at different points in time to measure how they're doing over time, what we need is a unique ID, which will be the video ID plus the timestamp. So it's the statistics for the video at a specific uh, point in time, and that will give us the ability to uh, see how the video is doing over time and maybe get sort of a momentum score and then we'll see how the channel's doing over time so a lot of this code I went over in the last video but essentially what we're doing is um, searching YouTube we're getting all of the videos for a search query we're collecting all of that data and then from that for all of those videos in the search query we are getting their statistics and then we could put them into a data frame we don't have to um, let me show you how this works so if i was to search like pizza rat let me make sure you guys can see this so in the data directory under snippet.py using the query pizza rat and the max, max result, max n, is going to be 1. I just want one of these. What I'll be able to do is, ultimately, I generate one a data frame with a one row and 21 columns, so one row of 20, 21 columns. And I also printed out um, that piece of information using pretty print, so you could see all of the data that I'm getting on this. I get the description the channel view count, which is 10 million uh, for having 30 videos uh, and a lot of tags. Maybe the thing to do with, uh, with your videos is to add a lot of tags. There's this great thumbnail. The title of the video is New York City Rat Taking Pizza Home on the Subway. And it has 10 million views this this video <clears throat> very cool so from this uh this is where we left off we're able to build a data frame so i could instead of i could search pizza wrap but but give me all of the videos and i could build a data frame that would have all of i think the max allowed is 50. so what i could do is get all of the videos for Pizza Rat, if you were to search it using the YouTube API. And there's a lot of great videos that I'm being I'm pulling here. Uh, let's see. I non type has no object keys. So this ran into some some problems i think what happened is i couldn't pull the statistics for some of these videos so this is good i might have to refactor this a bit um let's let's just dive in so what i do is for all the videos in this videos list i get the data i get the information and i was printing it out that's what you were seeing in my console just then and then i penned that uh information so I think what I, what can happen is in the video information, I can write, I can fail to format the item from YouTube um, and I return none. 
So what, what I need to say is um, if info is not none, then we can put it in the data frame. And I'm going to stop printing that. And then if I run this again, <clears throat> I should come up with a nice data frame this time and I'll be able to print some information about that. This is all well and good, but to be able to get these data frames, I need to run this command. Um, so name none is not defined. So <clears throat> you have to actually program this correctly. To get this data frame, I always need to run this command and I don't want to do that. I want to store this information in a database. So what we're going to do in this video is store the results here in a uh, AWS database, DynamoDB. Here's my data frame. If I was in a Jupyter Notebook, I might be able to do more with this. You can see the top view count is over 10 million. That's, that's that channel, that video that we saw, the top video. It's pretty incredible how the top video gets 10 million views and the next video that's even on here is 300,000. It's orders of magnitude difference. Anyway, what I want to do is store this data in AWS DynamoDB so I don't have to run this command every time and I save this data and I can build this data, I can build larger data frames from this over time as more data gets added to the database. So let's do that. So in AWS, you need to log into the console. So if you don't know what this is, um, you're going to need to go to aws.amazon.com. You're going to need to sign up for AWS. A lot of it's free, as I talk about in other videos. Um, it won't be a lot to get you started. Uh, it's probably going to be free for you. You'll need to go to DynamoDB. If you don't see it here, you could search for it. You, your table here, your screen is go going to look different because it'll be the first time you're there. Now I created this table. I'll just go through the steps to create the table. If you wanted to like YouTube videos, and then the primary key, uh, this is going to be our ID. And I'm going to add a sort key because I know that I'm going to want to sort by something. I think I'll want to sort by the channel ID. <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to want to do that in the future and aggregate channel stuff. And then you can create this table, which will um, get you to a place where you'll have this, um, this little empty table. You can see if you go to items, there's nothing in here yet. So let's start adding data into here. You'll notice I have this other table. If you watch my other videos, I talk about populating this, this table of articles, which is, which are Reddit articles. And even though I'm collecting Reddit articles every hour, I only have 62,000 items. I don't know why I need to figure that out someday. Anyway, this is our new table. It's called videos. Why videos? And I want to put data into it. Okay, so I created uh, a main file. Main functions. I'll just say I need to import Boto3 to interact with AWS. I import snippet as snip. This is the snippet is the file with all of the code that we just ran. Uh, the keywords I'm going to use, I'll just start with data engineering. Um, maybe I'll just do pizza rat for now. Okay, let's begin. So to connect to AWS, connect to AWS via Boto3 and return table. So it's going to return um, AWS object. I believe that's what it is. What we do is we connect to DynamoDB 
using the Boda3 resource DynamoDB. And we return from DynamoDB our table. In this case, I named it Y videos. And so I return that. To connect to Boda3, you might need uh, to have your developer key. We talked about that in another video. I have a config file over here where I keep my AWS credentials. So when you sign up for AWS, you should receive credentials and you'll use those to connect. Okay, so all of this is this is really quick. So what this function is, I'm gonna add a doc string because that's good practice, is it takes keyword, which is a string, and I grab the table from here, my AWS table. And then I get a response, which is from the snippet, which is the code we just ran, do the YouTube search function on the keyword that's passed into this main and do um, max results 50. Date, I just have date sitting on here as something else. I'm not sure, I might just remove it. I don't need this date. I'm not even sure what it does in the function. Okay, and then from those videos, get the videos, which is another function in Snippet. Um, this returns the video IDs. So I should just call this video IDs. So for video ID and video IDs, and let's just say for ID in video IDs, pass it into getting the data uh, and then formatting that data. So this, this function, video stats, gets the data. This function, video information, formats that data. And then if info, uh, so it can be none, print saving the title and then put in the AWS table, put the item. So put the dictionary. <clears throat> and then all I do to run this is if name equals main, for keyword and keywords, main keyword. So if I have pizza rat uh, and data engineering, and let's just run this now. So instead of running data snippet, I'm gonna run data main. And currently I don't have anything in that AWS um, AWS table. So I had to trace back, let's see, I'm calling put item. One or more parameter values were invalid. An attribute value may not contain an empty string. So one of the attributes was an empty string. So let's see what we need to do. So try, I'm going to try to put the item, except, uh, exception, I suppose pretty print info. <clears throat> so let's see, and I'm going to import pre print. I want to see what attribute was an empty string. So this is the thing about AWS DynamoDB, you can't have an empty string going in here. Okay, so it hit that exception. And so one of these attributes is an empty string, which, okay, it's the description. So that's what I need to make sure of that if the description is an empty string or if any of these is empty string, then um, we're going to have to handle that case. But you can see uh, a lot of these titles transitioned over to uh, data engineering. It went from pizza rat to data engineering. So in this Y videos collection, and I did this twice. And so the day, the time changed between when I ran those twice. So let's see, if I look at the overview, what I have are 42 items. I don't collect channel data. This is a video database. So I, I'm just storing videos, even though I have channel information up on the videos. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so this is great. So we have all of our data here. I even have this thumbnail, which I am going to use to affect later on in this series. There's Henry Rat. So this is all well and good. I think what I need to do though is to <clears throat> proof this to say if the description if it's an empty string, uh, if any of these are empty strings, I need to m turn them into something. Hmm. So that, that is something that we need to think about. Let's pull this out of here. Let's say uh, description equals that if this equals just an empty string we're gonna say uh, no description <clears throat> so I'm not sure where else we might run into this problem but we will maybe in the tags I can imagine hitting that I think what I'd like to do is log this exception mm. I'll do is this logging isn't the greatest because I'm just logging it to standard out. I just want this to grab my attention. So, uh, what do we do? Make sure wine won't want to save. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to change this from Pizza Rat to Data Science. What do we do? So we set up an AWS database. We took our script that was already existing, and I'll just go through this really quickly. We have a we have a function that searches the YouTube videos given a search term. We have a function that gets the information, returns a list of IDs. So search search create a <coughs> search on YouTube generate the, the video IDs, get all of the video information that we want to store in a database, and then um, from the stats, this is out of order, but get the, this is the actual, searching the actual YouTube API for the statistics and the snippet and the statistics on the channel, getting all of those and returning them. And then we took that, put that in our, our main.py, file which connects to our AWS table uh, runs through a list of keywords here and then stores that information in AWS. In the next video we will automate this with AWS Lambda. If you watch prior videos I've done this before. Hopefully um, the next time I do it will make it'll make more sense but if you want to do that if you want to jump ahead you can go and copy off past videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you think. We will be shortly turning after we get this initial pipeline done to creating a visualization and creating the website. So I'm excited for that. Uh, so stick around and more to come. I will talk to you later.